Hey, what's going on, Foodie Fam? It's your boy Drops in the building. At Crust Issues, it's all about pizza with no crust. At 60 Connecticut Ave, Norwalk, Connecticut. Let's go check it out. What's going on, foodie fam? You already know the vibes, man. Again, we inside crust issues right now. Starting off light and easy, about to beat you on the head. These some thick mop sticks, son. I, these joints is wild big, baby. Not even your regular smeggler. You know what the regular ones look like. They look a little bit bigger than your finger. These right here, one, it's a couple fingers. Let's check it out. Fam, what is it that we're looking at right now? That mop stick, next level activity. Let me put it up in your face real quick, just so you can see what we're working with. And then we're gonna have to bust this thing wide open. This is crazy in size. Even up off in the marinara, you can see it right there. No space really left over. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, look, 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 look. Mod stick game. How crazy is the mod stick game, huh? How crazy? Is it real? There's a fugazi. Is it real? Oh. Oh, you real, huh? Oh, you for real, for real, aren't you? Oh, you have a whole attitude problem, and we like your attitude problem. Yeah, we like the way the cheese be talking to us like this. Fam, I think I got to go to the next building over just to keep the pull going on right now. Oh, my goodness. I'm not, I'm, uh, look at the jungle gym. This right here is a straight jump rope of activity. Look at the jump rope. Look, look. <laughs> oh, throw it. Oh, God. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh, that's fresh. That's fresh moss action. This is the first time we went to pull apart a mott stick and it did not break. I had to break it myself. This is the first, we've, we've had a lot of massive pulls over the years doing these mott sticks, right? This is the first time it did not break. It didn't want to break. It didn't want to split up. It wanted to work on the relationship. It wanted to stay together. That's how crazy it was. Take a look at this one more time. You're getting, again, wild flavor up over here. Parmesan, a nice little crispiness to it. We didn't even dip it up off into the sauce yet. I know all the sauce is really going to do is elevate what it is that we already have going on, foodie fam. So let's go ahead and get right to business. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Oh, you see that little steamy dream that's happening right there? <laughs> Mind your business. Ah, oh, you hot. Mm. Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, fresh tomato and basil. Mm. This is today tomato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is today tomato. This is. Like, before they opened, they went to go ahead and pick these tomatoes type of freshness that we have going on. And it's chunky, too. It's hearty, right? It's taking a mott stick, making the mots even savory off the crispiness, off the elevation of the, of the proximity of the cheese itself. This really kind of just blowing my mind. I like, I'm already looking forward to what's happening next. This right here is nothing more than the appetizer just to wet your whistle. Wet your whistle with no liquid it needed. Like, I didn't even drink the water yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Mmm. Mm. Mm. All right, fam, up next. A little bit of that chicken marsala right there. Hella mushroom activity up over there for additional flavor. You see the chicken sitting there laying low. And then wild mashed potatoes. Oh. I got this right here in the middle. We're going to use that as a gravy too to dip in and, and get real crazy with it. Let's go. Get your little fork. Mm hmm. Make sure you have your knife. And then you just go ahead and just get right to business. Just get just, oh. 
Crispiness is right on time, too, with that one right there. Fam, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Just kind of beating down off the beaten path of that chicken. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That sauce is talking to me over the chicken. No, more times than not. I mean, we've already gotten down with chicken different ways. Fricasseed, fried, grilled, baked. Like, I mean, it is what it is when it comes to chicken. You can do it right or you do it wrong. You have a nice little crispy exterior right there. It's working. But it's what you add to it, right? The way the wine blends in is like a nice light gravy. If I can really break it down for you. Which is perfect because we're going to use that to dip our mashed potatoes in. Now we're going to go ahead. Yep. Right up, in, right, right up into the gravy of it all. Mix it in with that potato. Why them potatoes whip like that? Mmm. Not a chunky potato at all. Whip, smooth. Nice little butter up in there. Light salt. We got the got parsley flakes just kind of happening. It's really the flavor. It's whipping up in a cord, working a great melody mixed in, again, with the sauce that's already over the chicken. And then you have that little mashed potato. So when you need that dinner combination, this is going to well, work well for the direction in which you're trying to go. Because if you didn't want pizza and you wanted something a little bit different, right? This is off the cuff right here. Some powerful stuff, baby. Uh huh. Oh, you shouldn't be too good, but not too much because we're still going. Yes, I said we're still going. Now, normally you have your, your breaded garlic knot activity with garlic butter all over it, right? But these garlic knots definitely are hitting a little bit different. But this is what you get when you come to crust issues. You know what I'm saying? They're already going outside the box with the crustless pizza. So I already knew coming up off in here getting some garlic knots, they playing the game a little bit different. Let's see what it's hitting on. I don't know, fam. What are we expecting? All right, so it's off to the press. You know what I'm saying? The fork went right, right on in. I won't even put it up off in the sauce. We're going to hit it as is first. Okay. It's like, a, it's like a soft, a very soft, lightly fried dough with the garlic butter over, right? But I really believe this one right here I'm going to need some of that sauce activity because it's, it's all right. It's all right by itself because it's definitely different outside of my norm. But mm -hmm. garlic knots, all right. Um, a little more on the, the softer side, Sears, over, over the regular garlic knots that I normally have, right? Because my regular garlic knots of the dough has a nice little crisp on the edge from the oven. And this right here is a different variation of. You probably like it only because, again, that garlic butter bringing up great flavor for it. Mixing in with a little bit of that ball sauce right there, set it off, enhancing the levels of savoriness. But ultimately, just the consistency is a little bit different. But in my face right now, y'all, I got to bring y'all in for this right here. Family, up next, we have the meatball sandwich. Come on, man. I got to give you guys a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? Just a little something to hold you over. With the chili peppers up off in there. Let's go ahead and drop the top on the convertible box. Ooh, look at this cheesy. It's a cheesy little boo thing right there. Do you see the meatballs? All right, see the sauce up off in there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're not afraid. They're not afraid of ingredients over here whatsoever. Not afraid of seasoning things up. Let's get that bite of delight. You know I always feed you guys first, right? Hey, there you go. There you go. Go ahead and get that bite of delight. Yeah. I know. I saw you getting excited. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Wow. I don't know if it's a crispiness with sesame seeds that got me going and the nice little crunch right off, right off the gate. The butter garlic love that we have going on, man. And just and the garlic is just really pronounced on this one. And let me flip it over so we can properly expose the guts for the meatballs because the meatballs are nice and tender when you get that bite. Extremely cheesy. 
Like, this isn't your regular meatball sandwich. I want you to look at it again. This is not, and I repeat, you're not your regular meatball sandwich. This right here is a plethora of meatball happiness that just so happens to be a sandwich because you have that dough on the top and the bottom. You know what I'm saying? A breaded up situation. I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. Meatball sandwich reinvented. All right. Sometimes you have to reinvent the wheel. Here it is right here. And the wheel keeps spinning. Here it is, fam. The main event. I know you guys were waiting patiently. You're like, what is this crustless pizza all about? Why is it called crust issues? Well, I have the answer right here in front of my face. Fam, what are you thinking? What are your first thoughts when you see the crustless pizza? Are you excited about it? Are we off here in Connecticut and you've only been used to one style of pizza and you're afraid to try anything else? Or are you ready to be taken to the next level of pizza? Are you ready for crust issues? Let's go ahead and get that bite. I'm going to just grab up a little, just a little something, something right here. Just a little sauce, sauce. Look at that, look at that, just, just, just that little piece right there. I mean, I could have grabbed the corner. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get the corner. Let's, ooh, look at that, family. Now, it's a thin little something, all right? Not a whole lot of pizza right there, just a whole lot of flavor in my hand. I, and I know, I know what's wild with flavor, simply because of the other dishes that we had before we arrived here, before we got to this one right here, family. Let's go get that bite. Oh. Uh huh. Mm. 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 Hmm. Wow. Wow. Why are you doing this to me? Hmm. You know what you did. That pepperoni. Nice little spice. Very light saltiness to it. That cheese just kind of coated up over the sauce, which again, you have that oregano, all right? You have the salt, you have the pepper, you have that garlic that's just sitting there popping. It's popping on a handstand and all of these flavors are rushing in all at once. It's almost as if someone was sitting there banging at the door. The cops were sitting there trying to get in. They were banging at the door. They had the ran. And finally, they broke through. That's what the flavors did. They broke through. They said, we're going to provide you with so much flavor on this pizza, you won't even care if you have crust or not. Hmm. Crust issues? I got them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.